dear students in this lecture we will try to understand about what is a vertical gene transfer and a horizontal gene transfer what are the various types of horizontal gene transfer so the vertical gene transfers refers to transfer of genetic material from one cell to another cell during the process of reproduction so this has been very clearly explained there in the right hand side image a parent cell is there its genetic information has been transferred to two daughter cells after the replication of the dna and separation of the one cell into two cell due to the binary fission process okay so this is the one referred as a vertical gene transfer and the next phenomena is horizontal gene transfer this horizontal gene transfer has shaped a lot of characteristic features or some phenotypic traits there on the bacteria so this kind of a gene transfer usually occurs between the cells that have been living in the same generation the three important horizontal gene transfer events that takes place in the nature includes transformation transduction and conjugation in the subsequent lectures we are going to see how transformation is taking place there in the bacterial cells for that only we are going to go in detail about the griffith experiment the next one is the transduction phenomena this transduction is affected by viruses that is bacteriophages virus that infects the bacteria and third one is the conjugation so for all these phenomena scientists have designed certain experiments to prove this particular mechanisms so this particular experiments are all we are going to subsequently see in this lecture you look at here into this particular diagram this diagram explains about how the different phenomena have been taking place there in the nature in the center you can able to see a cell this cell is been taking up the foreign genes through all these mechanisms that is through all these horizontal gene transfer events that includes a transformation transduction and a conjugation so here this violet color thing refers to a small fragment of dna that has been came out from a already dead bacterial cell this is a dead bacterial cell this particular piece of dna can able to easily enter inside a competent cell so this is a process by which the resistance towards antibiotics are all resulted there in the bacteria and the next one is a transduction you look at here a small piece of dna that have been present in a another bacterial host is actually taken up by a lysogenic bacteriophage so lysogenic phage is the one which going to infect again into this particular bacteria and when it's in infecting the new bacteria the whole nucleic acid content of the phage will be injected into this bacteria so at that time you can able to see the foreign dna that red color dna is a foreign dna which was previously present in this particular bacteria it has been transferred with the help of a virus that is transfer with the help of a viral delivery so this process is referred as a transduction and the third process is conjugation so conjugation is the one in which certain pili based attachment between the cell has been established that results in the transfer of a particular gene fragment from one cell to another effected through special kind of a conjugational canals so a small plasmid containing gene fragment has been transferred from one bacteria to other with the help of a conjugational canal and that mechanism is referred as a conjugation among the various horizontal gene transfer phenomena what we have previously discussed transformation plays an important role or an important one that is it's widely occurring there in the microorganism especially in the bacteria so the transformation phenomena was understandable after the conduct of this griffith experiment frederick griffith is a person who conducted this experiment and he proved that the hereditary information will pass between organisms so that mechanism is referred as a transformation so organism what he has used in the study is streptococcus pneumoniae he has used two different types of 
cultures. One is of a smooth, that is polysaccharide containing virulent and disease causing strain of an Streptococcus pneumoniae. Another strain is a rough polysaccharide minus strain. That is, as they don't have a polysaccharide, when they are forming colony on the agar plate, they will be looking in a rough appearance. They are all avirulent and non-disease causing organism. So, these two different kinds of strains have been used there in the Griffith experiment. And the finding of this experiment is, transformation refers to a stable genetic change brought about by uptake of a naked DNA. That is, DNA without associated cells or proteins have been taken up by certain groups of organisms. And the type of organism that is taking up the DNA is referred as a competent cell. So, competency here refers to state of being able to take up an exogenous DNA from the environment. So, a competent cell capable of a taking up a foreign DNA and that causes a stable genetical change in the organism. The notes for this Griffith experiment is present there in the notes quadrant of our web page in the unit 1. Here, if you click, you can able to get the notes for this particular experiment. And when you come into the e-tutorials thing for the first unit, that is the uh, one in which the Griffith experiment is present, I have provided some examples of the videos that have been available there in the web, in the internet. Okay, so DNA is a genetic material for a video-based explanation of Griffith experiment. You can click here and you can able to understand. Additionally, a few video has been given there in the web resources, that is extra resources related to our subject. Say if you go into this particular tab, you can able to again see a explanation for a Griffith experiment that have been provided here. In the e-tutorial form, that is in the tab, you can able to see certain Tamil videos based explanation there for this content also. Say the Griffith experiment is here explained in the Tamil. So, those who have a problem with learning in English, you can click here and look at the video and you can able to understand the content. As an outcome of the Griffith experiment, certain biomolecules were thought to be the transforming principle. However, Griffith was unable to understand what is the transforming principle. So, this led to conductance of a series of experiments thereby Avery, Colleen, McLeod and McLean McCarthy. And they have proved that the active transforming principle of the Griffith experiment is none other than the DNA. So, how they have conducted this experiment? They have taken the smooth pathogenic bacterium that causes pneumonia. So, this particular bacteria with a random mutation, they may be converted into a rough non-pathogenic mutant strains. The live or strain cells are grown in presence of either a heat killed strain cells or a cell free extract of strain cells. When they are growing in the presence of the smooth pathogenic bacterium, automatically a transformation is resulted. So, this is the one we have already seen there in the Griffith experiment. So, some R strain cells are transformed to S strain cells and whose daughters are pathogenic and cause pneumonia. So, this left hand portion that have been explained is completely denoted to the phenomena of transformation. So, molecules that can be carry a heritable information are present there in the S strains of the Streptococcus pneumonia. So, that is the finding of Griffith. Now, we will come into the series of experiments conducted there by Oswald, Avery, McLeod and McCarthy. They have taken the S strain, that is a strain which is smooth, pathogenic and that can able to cause pneumonia. And you all need to remember, this is a strain that has transformed the R strains, that is non-pathogenic into S strains, that is pathogenic strains by the process of transformation. So, this particular strain is taken and it has been used for the study. So, this strain has been subjected for a fractionation, that is the whatever biomolecule fractions that have been associated there with this strain have been separated. For that a cell free extract has been prepared and different classes of biomolecules are purified and they have been separated. What are the possible biomolecules that could be present there in a living organism? It can be of an RNA, protein, DNA, lipid and carbohydrate. That is whole living organism or a whole 
bacterial cell may be add, made up of only this kind of a biomolecules. So all these biomolecules have been separately fractionated. So this fractionated biomolecules are all tested for the transformation ability of the R strain. As we already know, S strain some content alone is converting the R strain into S strain. So they have taken all this molecule in a purified form extracted from the S strain and they are all applied there on the R strains. When they are applying there on the R strain, except DNA, no other biomolecule has the capability to change the R strains into S strains. That itself given a very clear evidence for them that it is only the DNA that transform the rough R strains that is non-pathogenic strains into smooth pathogenic strains. So the conclusion is molecule that carries the heritable information is DNA among the different kind of biomolecules that have been present in a living organism. The next important experiment that proved that DNA is a genetic material is Hershey and Chase experiment. In this experiment they have used bacteriophages as a model and they have used the radioactively labeled sulfur 35 and phosphorus 32 to label the specifically the nucleic acids as well as proteins and to confirm that the nucleic acid is the one which is specifying the heritable change. The phenomena of this one has been finally identified as a transduction and the conclusion of this experiment is the transforming principle is actually the DNA and not the protein. Notes for this Hershey and Chase experiment is available in our web page in the notes tab in unit 1 that is it is provided under the serial number 2 from where you can able to download the notes for this experiment and if you come into the e-tutorials in the unit 1 you can able to see an explanation about this transaction phenomena with the help of a video there in the serial number 6 and those who have a difficulty in learning with English some Tamil based videos were also populated here through which you can able to understand the concept of Hershey and Chase experiment in a very clear manner.